Hi folks, Dr. Ed Beyer. Today we're going to talk about a very common thing I see clinically in my practice. I, I practice a lot of functional medicine and I deal with a lot of females with hormone imbalances, whether they're uh, premenopausal or in menopause, doesn't matter. This I see all the time. One of the most common causes of a hormone imbalance that I see is poor functioning gut. And the most common gut problem that I see causing uh, hormone imbalances is constipation. And another one is gallbladder dysfunction. And it has to do with estrogen. Folks, estrogen is the hormone that lasts the longest in our body. It has the longest half-life. It's the hardest to get rid of. The way hormones work is we make them, we use them, and then they got to go. Okay? And females, a female, the, the ratio between progesterone and estrogen should be about 25 to 1. I hardly ever see that. When you don't have 25 times more progesterone than you do estrogen, you develop this condition called estrogen dominance. It's not that you have too much estrogen all the time, it's that you don't have enough progesterone to balance the estrogen. What we see with estrogen dominance is weight gain. Ladies, you will not lose weight if you have this estrogen dominance. Hot flashes, PMS, hair loss, osteoporosis, the list goes on and on and on and on. Here's one reason why, how this can happen. When, liver, when uh, hormones are made and they're used, then they go into the liver and the liver processes them. They send it and they attach it to bile in the gallbladder and then it goes in our digestive tract and it gets eliminated through the feces. If you're not having regular bowel movements, what I mean by that is at least two per day, and a lot of people don't realize you should be having a couple bowel movements per day, the estrogens readily get reabsorbed back into the bloodstream. So they recycle. I see this over and over and over and over. So this is how constipation and a digestive disorder can cause this estrogen dominance. I'm Dr. Ed Byer. I hope that helps. Have a great day.